And last week we began this journey of looking at the, car the names of God the names of God, and we will wonder and ask, does God have names? And I'm putting that S on purpose, by the way. See, who you are, So I'm putting that S on purpose, the names of God. And the names of God are, are basically in his character. So whatever character that you encounter of God, that is the name you, get, you give God. For instance, when Moses, we looked at this, when Moses was sent to, Israel, to Egypt to deliver the, the Israelites, uh, he asked, what sh whom should I say sent me? God told me, say, I am that I am. So whatever character or dimension of me that these children of Israel have met, that is the name they call me. If I am Hila, I am Rafa, I am Ebenezer. Last week we looked at uh, Samuel and the Israel call, calling God Ebenezer because God had fought for them. God had fought for them in a battle they did not expect, they did not see coming or did not, they did not expect winning. But who is God? God knew them say, God knew them, you know what, he fights for us. So God showed up and fought for them. And Samuel, together with the Israelites, they called God the Ebenezer. And that is one name of God. Because in that dimension that they met God, he fought for them. So God was their Ebenezer. And today we are looking at uh, Jireh. Abraham called God Jireh. And you would wonder, why would Abraham call God Jireh? Because Jireh means God provides himself. God provides himself. So you'd wonder, was Abraham in luck that he called God a provider? Abraham was never in luck. You need to study the character of Abraham. This guy was rich. He was wealthy. All kind of manner of wealth this guy had. This guy was wealthy. You need to read the story of Abraham from Genesis chapter 11. So Ukifika chapter 12, 22 actually. When he says Jehovah Jireh, now you understand why Abraham called God Jehovah Jireh. But this guy, I will assure you, this guy was never in luck. This guy was wealthy. He had silver. He had a lot of wealth. He had gold. If you read especially chapter, chapter 13, he says Abraham was very rich in livestock, in silver, in gold, very wealthy. Alikuwa me make it, alikuwa me umoka. On top of that, he had a very beautiful wife. Very, very, Bible ina sema hivo. See Mimi, it's all my Bible by the way. Utapata Bible ina ita Sarah, very beautiful wife. At 65, she wanted to, she almost ended up being married again by Pharaoh. As if that was a not enough. At 85, this Abimelech also wanted to marry her. At 85, imagine a woman at 85 and ataka kuelewa. At 65, and ataka kuelewa tena. So Abraham had a beautiful wife, a very beautiful wife. That is the words of the Bible. So he had gold, silver, livestock, land, everything, tents, and a very beautiful wife. On top of that, Abraham had men. Men that he was taking care of. Wanaume wengi, mbogi, kubwa. Wase tunakwanga na mbogi ya watu watano na tunakiga kelele. Abraham had a lot. There's this one time, I would say, when Lot was captured, eh? He was captured by some people, I don't know. There was a battle somewhere and then Lot was captured together with his family. Remember, Lot is, niece, uh, is nephew to Abraham. So Lot was captured and uh, Abraham, took his men. The Bible says he took his men. 318. Was it 318 or 328 men? Oh, mighty men of war. His men, mighty men of war. Kumanisha kuna wale wa kuenda vita because they are not mighty as these other 300 and above. Kumanisha they are still men and women and children. How many people was Abraham taking care of? Mse alikuwa bazu. Alingia hivi Egypt. Pharaoh na kuja kumgotea. Anakuja kum welcome, welcome sir, welcome, feel at home. This wife of you is very beautiful. Umsel come and make it. So why did he call God Jireh? So this guy, he had everything except one. He did not have a hair. He did not have a child. He did not have a child at all. Barren, Sarah Barren, Kaput, 85, 95, I want him total bado. Nothing. So God visits them. One year later, they conceive, they have a child, it's called Isaac. 
13, I don't know, 13, 17 years later, God shows up. Like, you need to sacrifice this child. Then God is very specific. You need to sacrifice your one and only son. Because God did not recognize Ishmael. He only recognized Isaac. Because Isaac was the blessings of God, was according to the will of God. Ishmael is the permissive will. Ile nye mtu kitakanga kitu na force mungu, paka mungu anasema haya chukua. The permissive will. You force God, you force things, you pray and you force things. Or you just go ahead and manipulate things. Unasema, ah God amechelewa, let me just do it my way. Then God will allow that. Now that is the permissive will. Now with Abraham and Sarah, Ishmael was the permissive will. But God only recognized one person, one child, and that is Isaac. So God shows up and I'm imagine Abraham, I need you to sacrifice this one and only son of yours. Twenty, I will show you where. So they are there. When Abraham has taken two servants, uh, Isaac, Kuni, Donkey, Twende. They reach a point, they leave the, they say the, the two men behind. He takes Isaac and the wood, puts on, the, on Isaac's shoulder, Twende. And on the way, Isaac gets curious. And I will say, where, where is the, the lamp that we are going to sacrifice? And one thing you can learn from that, you can pick from that question, that is, Abraham worshipped God with a lot of sacrificing of animal. He worshipped God a lot. If you read from chapter 11, you can see Abraham built three altars for God. Three altars where he built an altar, offered a sacrifice, worshipped God. Abraham was a worshipper. So he worshipped with his, whatever God had blessed him with. Are you worshipping with whatever God has given you? Your time. You can give God your time. You can give God your money. You can give God whatever he has blessed you with and worship God with that. Abraham was a worshipper. Another thing, Abraham was obedient. When God tells him, Twende uku, mapema ndiyo best, anajua ikitu. Abraham knows this thing. Mapema, the Bible tells, says that Abraham arose very early. When God tells Abraham that you need to let uh, Ishmael go, mapema anamuachili anaenda. When God tells Abraham we need to go and sacrifice, Abraham anamuka mapema. So this, Abraham was very obedient. Mapema ndiyo best was his term. So this day, you can say he, he, had, he had faith, he had, he was, he's a worshiper, he's obedient, and he had faith in God because he had waited 99 years to have a child. So when God tells him 20, well, let us go sacrifice, and Isaac still ask him, where is the sacrifice? When he answered, God will provide. Of course, he knew that God was going to provide. That is in 22, 18, that say in 8, my son, God will provide for himself the lamb for a burnt offering. And when he was just about to kill Isaac, God showed up and told him, Abraham, do not sacrifice that child. Abraham, do not do it. And verse 14, and it says as we wind up, and Abraham called the name of that place Jireh. When he said that, um, do not kill that lad, that child, that kid. And God, Abraham looked aside and he saw a lamb. And instead of sacrificing Isaac, he sacrificed that, that, that lamb, a young lamb. And because of that action, God was testing Abraham. It wasn't a matter of what you had. If Abraham wanted to sacrifice a thousand goats, a thousand white sheep, a thousand white cattle, he, 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 was, he was able to do that. But God was just testing his faith. And that's why he called God Jireh. We read in verse 14 and said, And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day in the mount of the Lord, it shall be seen. God provided not what he wanted, but what he needed. God will always provide for you what you need, not what you want. You could be praying for rent, but God is saying, I need to give you a job. Because a kikupe a job, utapata do, utalipa rent, utalipa food, nini, nini. It will cater for all the bills. God will always go beyond of what you're asking for. Not what you want, but what you need. So when he provides in plenty for himself, not for you. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Yes, because of time.